Hi, it's Ishan from First Updates Now, and today we're here with Team 4634, the Frogbots from Virginia, and they've got a really cool robot here. I wanted to learn a little bit more about your intake mechanism and the springs that you've got going on. Can you tell me that, about that? Yeah, for sure. So on our intake over here, one problem often is servos breaking under high torque scenarios or shock loads. So to eliminate this problem, we neutrally balance our intake of these springs, which help pull it up. And then this spring here acts as a brake, so that way when it comes up, it doesn't apply a shock load to the servo. And then we mechanically disattach the servo arm from the intake of this spring. So if the intake lands on top of any obstacles, the spring just stretches, which leaves no torque on the servo. So we can have the, the intake actually retract over the wall, and this will just stretch over it and no damage done to the robot. Yeah, that's really cool. I know a lot of teams have problems with having these really torquey motors and they break and it can be very costly for a team, but it looks like you've got it all figured out here. And so then you also were talking about your LEDs. Can you tell me a little bit more about that? Yeah, to briefly highlight our LEDs, they're in teleop. They count down using different colors. So they go from green to blue to yellow to red. And then in the last five to ten seconds, they start flashing red to let us know that we need to do the hang now for endgame. And then during autonomous, we actually only have one autonomous program for both positions. And depending on what the gyro heading is, it tells the robot which program to run. And the lights would change color to indicate that we're running the correct program. So you mentioned that you use the gyro heading to determine your program. Can you explain a little bit more on how you do that? Yeah, for sure. So at the start of the match, we always had the robot facing the same direction and take towards the wall. And we make sure it's all straight and lined up. So then that's the zero heading. And depending which way the robot turns, the gyro will say, OK, you turned that direction. So now that I've detected that, I'm going to run your depot autonomous or your crater autonomous. And that way, there's no confusion of, did I select the right autonomous program? It's just that, did you start the robot correct? That's really cool. I know our team has definitely selected the wrong autonomous program multiple so times. Have we. So have we. <laughs> Great. Thank you very much for this interview, um, and we'll see you guys next time. We need your help to keep fun loud, live, and independent. Help us by visiting our Patreon to pledge your support at patreon.com forward slash first updates now. You can also support fun live on Twitch for a few bucks a month or by linking your Prime account for free and clicking subscribe. Thank you to all of our co-executive producers keeping fun loud, live, and independent.